some more uh, some more uh, bows being played and we have so this stone is being captured so white is having a plan it's able to surround and get some influence some strength around this place so black is getting a bit of outer here but it's facing a white stone so it's not that good actually i'm getting the outer here let's see what happens so black is trying to run off to this side that, that that's what i'm, I'm thinking that, that's what black is trying to do. black honey is here and white also honeys and black nobis and white nobis and black goes here so some kind of capturing this here yeah but white is safe white has everything black is getting ahead of the game but white is right now i think so black has the center i might know but black really has it white is not getting quite much black plays here white plays here black plays here fine so black reveals the plan in this corner and black is quite good the thing is how what what white plays now what is the thought process of white like what is going to white to white going to do get a lot of territory little bit more than black what is it going to do so white like tiger mounts this area black again double key mark here white playing the normal sequence black key mark okay white is doing some strange stuff let's see this Why does having four diamond moves now? This is unexplainable. So this is what was pointed out by Richard um, Redmond, and a professional, and he said this is completely non-human. What white did, and white won. So that means like this should be fine. What kind of corner development is happening here is completely unexplained. Black plays here and white like running off. Black running along too. Okay. So this was a shocker sequence of moves. Now white looks more more structured. So for black atharis, so white. Save this move, a stone, black goes off, white goes off, black attack is again, black is kind of lost because like right now white is connected and black plays some sequence of moves, that is good but not strong enough as white, white has a good in this sequence, so black Trying to like ladder it in here. Will it go? No, no, it won't. Obviously, it can't run off here. Okay. Mm, okay, so black going here. White attacking, double attacking. So that's good. Black connects with everything. And now, white goes and puts here. So, white is just like going point by point. But it's calculating the whole board at each point, so that's good. So next move is right here. Black goes here. White goes here. Black goes and connects here. White goes and connects. Here. Oh my God! This is like complete line being formed. This is like basic level. Go. So 
So basically, lot of unconventional stuff happened in this board, and it was not sure if White really had the um, advantage until this sequence played out. Black really had some solid influence, but didn't capitalize well or didn't respond well in that corner. That's why Black isn't doing that that way. Well. Black plays here. White connects. Forms a solid group. Okay, oops. Black plays here. White plays here. Black plays this. Diagonal. White forms a triangle. Black goes and has a stone here. White is thinning in my so. Yeah, white thing keys right here. Black goes and Atari here. And white is going here. This is wild pre end game stuff because in even at pre end game they are tenipping this much. That is like what so here play with here. And where is white going? White is going here. Black is going here. White is going here. Black is going here. White is going here. Black is going here. White is going here. At capturing. So white is ahead. Black doesn't have as solid plan as white. Josephies and shapes known even in this AlphaGo age, you should know everything. So, like all the nice shape points, everything you should know it because that gives you the advantage. You, you should really know it. And with AlphaGo, there are new unconventional things that are okay to play. So, that's what need, needs to be confirmed and explored.